Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mike Gonzalez. Major crimes detectives have arrested a Spokane Valley man for murder. They say he shot 44 year old Warren Flynn on Mother's Day. Flynn died several days later in the hospital. KXY4's Aaron Luna joins us live tonight. And Aaron, we've had quite a few murders lately and this arrest could signal the end of at least one of four recent murder investigations. Mike, the first of those murders taking place in early January. This arrest today was applauded by neighbors who say the house that the suspect lived at was a sore spot for the entire neighborhood. Four murders this year in Spokane County. Four killers on the loose. Now major crimes detectives think they found at least one of them. Through their investigation, um, they developed probable cause for the arrest um, of Mr. Shane Smith. Detectives say the 38-year-old Spokane Valley man shot Warren Flynn on Mother's Day, May 13th. Flynn died at the hospital three days later. Depending on what the prosecutor's office decides, that will be the degree, you know, either first or second degree murder. It was just after 2.15 detectives executed a search warrant, pulling Smith and bags of evidence from his home in the 6700 block of 3rd Avenue. Investigators still have to process all the evidence that they, that they come up with here and basically continue building their case if this does go to trial. If convicted, detectives will then be able to focus on those killers still in hiding. Obviously, a murder takes precedent over you know any other investigation that they have going. That includes the person who killed Kayla Williams. Her body was also found on Mother's Day in a wooded area of southwest Spokane. Charlotte McGill's killer hasn't been found. She was stabbed to death May 3rd near the Spokane River at South Riverton in Magnolia. And the longest murder investigation this year is that of Kim Schmidt. She was shot to death in her home in North Spokane. The scene was staged to look like a suicide. Four murders this year, one that much closer to being solved. The area of today's arrest say the victim and the suspect knew each other and had been seen at the same house on several different occasions. Reporting live on the Skydeck, Aaron Luna, KXLY4 HD News.